we're going to go through one of the absolute rudiments in most programs, and that's selection. Sounds pretty straightforward, but if you're not really a computer person, this one will be very illuminating for you potentially. Okay, so on your mouse, there's two buttons. The one on the left is generally used for selection in most programs. So if I do a single click on an object, it becomes blue and it may have these little arrows in the corner which will uh, let you know that it's something that could be manipulated in size. So that's my left mouse button. I'm single clicking and releasing. The next thing I might want to do is select more than one object. The first way I'll teach you to do this is to hold down your shift key. When this is done, you'll see next to your cursor a plus and a minus appear. And now when I click from object to object, it will select each object that I click on while I'm holding down the shift key. If I let go of my shift key and click on something else again, it'll go back to just selecting that one that I've clicked on. Hold down the shift key and it'll add them together. It will also deselect objects though, so I might then decide, actually I didn't want this one here, I keep my shift key held down and click again, and it'll subtract that from it. The next way to select multiple objects would be for me to do a marquee over objects. Now, if I start on the left and hold down my left mouse button and drag to the right, it will select everything that this marquee completely covers. So here I've selected everything. If I stopped short of going to the edge of these objects, this one here I didn't completely cover, that hasn't become selected. Now, there's another method for this which not a lot of people know about and that is to start instead of on the left side, on the right side and now if I hold and drag my left mouse button anything that I touch will become selected. So this is a great way to select things that are hanging out the side of your project and to uh, quickly discriminate against things and not grab too much. Using a combination of these different tools is usually helpful. So if I wanted everything in this area except one of the objects, I could marquee over the lot. And now I could hold down my shift key and deselect the objects that I don't want selected. The last thing I'm gonna show you in this video is what happens if I hold down the control key. Now the control key works like the shift key but you'll notice that only a plus symbol has come up next to my cursor. That means that it'll only add objects that are selected and if I click on something again for the second time, it won't deselect it. Now this can be really helpful uh, so that you don't accidentally deselect objects that are very close to each other, um, but the shift one is the most versatile. I hope that's helpful to you. Um, and press subscribe if you want to learn more.